Ships and Technologies C &T, founded in Milpitas, California in December 1984 by Gordon A. Campbell and Dado Banatow, was perhaps the first fabless semiconductor company, a model developed by Campbell. Its first product, announced September 1985, was a four-chip EGA chipset that handled the functions of 19 of IBM's proprietary chips on the enhanced graphics adapter. By that November's Comdex, more than a half dozen companies had introduced EGA-compatible boards based on C&T's chipset. This was followed by chipsets for PC motherboards and other computer graphics chips. C&T was acquired by Intel in 1997, primarily for its graphics chip business. Former members of C&T founded Acillion Technologies in January 2000 to continue the support of the chips 65545, 65550, 65555, 69000, 69030, and other notebook and LCD-oriented graphics ICs. Intel licensed the rights to build, sell, and service the C&T chips to Acilient. Acilient manufactured and sold C&T components for the next few years until it closed. Topic X86 Products C&T Supermath J38700DX was a 80387DX compatible FPU coprocessor. C&T also designed a 386-compatible microprocessor known as the Super 386-38600DX, 38600SX using clean room design techniques, but this chip never enjoyed as much success as the 386 CPUs produced by Intel, AMD, and Cyrix. C&T 38605DX had 512-byte cache, but the 144-pin PGA package was incompatible with 386 socket. Topic motherboard chips and chipsets 82C100 IBM PS2 Model 30 and Super XT compatible chip, released in 1987, compatible with 8086, 80C86, V30, 8088, 80C88, V20 CPUs. Compatible with all PC, XT functional units, 8284, 8288, 8237, 8259, 8254, 8255, DRAM control, SRAM control, keyboard control, parity generation and configuration registers. Additionally features EMS control, dual clock and power management. It supports up to 2.5 MB RAM, 82C206 chip, introduced by C&T in 1986 and the core of the NEAT new enhanced at chipset. This chip, like its predecessor the 82C100, provided equivalent functionality to the TTL chips on the PC, ATS mainboard, namely, the 82284 clock generator, the 82288 bus controller, the 8254 programmable interval timer, the two 8259 programmable interrupt controllers, the two 8237 DMA controllers, the MC146818 NVRAM, RTC chip. 
C235 single chip at SCAT released in 1989, compatible with PC at supported LIM M's 4.0 up to 16 megabytes memory and shadow RAM. 82C836 single chip 386SX at SCATSX compatible with PC at bus supported all the features of SCAT added support for the i386 SX processor and i387 SX math coprocessor Topic video chips Chips and Technologies was the first company outside of IBM to deliver an EGA compatible chipset. The enhanced graphics chipset consisted of the four chips, 82C431 graphics controller 82C432 sequencer 82C433 attributes controller 82C434 CRT controller Later C&T announced a Super EGA dual chip chipset, 82C435 enhanced graphics controller and 82A436 6 bus interface with resolution up to 800 times 638 MHz. C&T was the first company outside of IBM to deliver a compatible VGA chipset. The 82C451 and VGA cards were introduced the same year as VGA 1987, based on the 82C441, opening up the IBM compatible graphics display market. This market was then entered by companies such as Trident Microsystems, Western Digital, Cirrus Logic, Oak Technologies, and others, until it was saturated. Chips and Technologies provided the Wingen Video Card, a very high-speed framebuffer that sat in a proprietary local bus slot on supported motherboards. Epson and JCIS were two manufacturers who offered motherboards featuring the Wingen local bus slot. The Wingen was popular with users of NextStep for Intel processors, as it was one of the highest performing video cards supported by the operating system. Latest Hikvision architecture 65550, 65554, 65555, 68554, 69000 and 69030 added a hardware acceleration. Apple used a number of C&T controllers in their PowerBook line. Among others, the 65550 was used in the PowerBook 3400 and the faster 65554 was used in the Kanga PowerBook G3, which was derived from the 3400. Early Nubus PowerBooks such as the PowerBook 1400 used the less sophisticated 65525A. C and T eventually ended up competing in the low end of the video market. The 65555 featured an LVDS transmitter and notably won a design in early Compaq Armada laptops. Topic. See also List of Intel chipsets S3 graphics